However, if you're not obese and you already are active in your life, walking is probably classified as more. Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Guthrie from LiveLeanTV.com. So guys, on today's episode, I'm answering the question, does walking burn belly fat? So I've mentioned it many times before, but I'll mention it again, guys. To lose weight, you need to first be in a calorie deficit. So this caloric deficit can be accomplished by decreasing your calorie consumption by eating less food and moving your body more so you burn more calories. So based on this, I'm often asked the following. If I hate exercising, can I just eat less calories? You may think you can just stop eating to burn more fat, but it, guys, it just doesn't work that way or it's not most effective that way for a sustainable time. As I've mentioned in a previous video on the three strategies to create a calorie deficit, cutting too many calories can have the opposite effect on fat burning. By following an extremely low calorie diet, you increase the risk of shifting your body into something referred to as starvation mode. Now, this is where you're rather than burning stored body fat for energy, your body stores that body fat for future energy reserves. Starving yourself may also slow your metabolism as your body can break down lean muscle for energy when you don't eat enough calories. So this further slows your metabolism since lean muscle is one of the main drivers of a fast metabolism. So the key to sustainable fat loss is creating the right calorie deficit while maintaining muscle tissue. So a safe daily calorie deficit usually includes up to 500 calorie deficit per day. So move more, lose more fat. So by adding exercise to your daily lifestyle, you'll be creating an even greater calorie deficit without starving yourself. So the question is, if I'm new to exercise, what should I do? Well guys, the fastest and most effective way to burn belly fat, build lean muscle, and sustain a healthy metabolism for life is by following a well-structured cardio and resistance training program. On top of this, just simply adding in more movement throughout the day can help you get into a calorie deficit faster. So walking is one of the easiest and most fundamental movements that beginners can do. However, guys, when it comes to walking, here's the big thing to remember. Sure, walking can help towards burning more calories to get into that calorie deficit. However, for walking to be truly considered a form of exercise, not just a physical activity, you must increase the intensity of your walk for longer durations. So I always recommend walking as if you're late for a meeting. You gotta get moving. And depending on your fitness level, a fast walk for an out of shape beginner can be just enough to elevate your heart rate to burn more calories. So typically if your heart rate elevates to at least 60% of your maximum heart rate, it's a decent form of cardio. So to calculate your maximum heart rate, simply follow this formula. Maximum heart rate equals 220 minus your age. So if you're 35 years old, your maximum heart rate would be 220 minus 35, which would equal 185 beats per minute. Simply multiply 60% by your maximum heart rate to figure out the minimum of where your walking heart rate should be to effectively burn fat. So take 185 times 0.6 would equal 111 beats per minute. So if you're 35 years old while walking, your heart rate should be elevated to at least 111 beats per minute for 40 to 60 minutes. Now, once your fitness level improves to the point where walking doesn't elevate your heart rate to 60% of your max heart rate, it's time to move up to a more intense form of low intensity steady state cardio or a HIIT cardio workout. So in our brand new Live Lean Sprint 2.0 cardio program, we've included five low intensity steady state cardio workouts that beginners can start with. Then once you get comfortable with these lower intensity workouts, you can move into any of our 20 unique HIIT cardio workouts that only last 20 minutes and can burn belly fat even faster. So I'm often asked, what if I don't have time to walk for 40 to 60 minutes? Well guys, completing three 20 minute walks in a day burns the same amount of calories as one 60 minute walk. Again, just ensure you're walking at a high enough speed that your heart rate stays at or above that 60% of your max heart rate. Now, although it's not mandatory, I do recommend you invest in a heart rate monitor, watch, or a chest strap that can be synced with your phone. Now, these fitness trackers are very affordable now, and they are great for peace of mind to know that you're actually training hard enough to reap the fat loss benefits. You'd be surprised at how many calories that you can burn with a brisk walk if you've previously lived a sedentary life and you're just new to fitness. Not only will walking burn calories, it'll also help your circulatory system. It lowers blood pressure, improves your 
HDL and your LDL cholesterol levels and ultimately burning off your stubborn belly fat. So bottom line here guys on does walking burn belly fat? Well, walking is a good starting point for obese and sedentary individuals that are new to fitness. Consistency is key. A daily walk can easily be incorporated into most people's lifestyle. It doesn't matter if it's raining or it's snowing. I mean, that's why we have umbrellas and coats. Just make it a habit. Book it in your schedule like it's a doctor's appointment. And if you're a beginner or extremely obese, start slowly and let your body adapt to the new stimuli. Starting slowly will prevent injuries. Then once you do feel more comfortable, start pushing yourselves into higher intensity forms of cardio and resistance training and get ready to say goodbye to that belly fat. However, if you're not obese and you already are active in your life, walking is probably classified as more just of a physical activity than it is a true workout. This is where you need to increase the intensity to be truly a fat burning workout. So if you're looking for the best hit cardio, list cardio workouts, and the nutrition plan to burn belly fat as fast as possible guys, go pick up a copy of my brand new Live Lean Sprint 2.0 program. We're also hooking up the first 250 people who buy the program with a copy of our brand new TeamLiveLean.com Fat Melting Power Sets Resistance Training Program. I'm going to put a clickable link in the description below. You can do these both these programs at the same time. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep living lean. Oh,